right now, nearly 100,000 Ohioans have filed for unemployment. People left without paychecks. They're facing difficult decisions, and one of those decisions is whether or not they can afford to keep their pets. WCPO 9 News reporter Allie Kramer spoke to a woman who was trying desperately to help those in need. A lot of people have gotten laid off. So people are getting really nervous thinking, you know, how am I going to feed myself, my family, provide for everything, and then my animals. Chastity Cecil runs Hope's Paws, a nonprofit animal rescue in Brown County. She says she's used to getting calls to pick up animals in the middle of the night, but now the calls are getting more difficult. And people, I've had four people ask me in the past three days if we would be able to take their animals if it came down to it, or if we could place them in rescues. Neighbors fearing they either won't be able to afford their animals or won't be able to get them food. So Chastity sprang into action, creating a pet food pantry. Donations began coming in right away. Chastity runs to local stores to stock up on dog food, cat food, and cat litter. And she delivers it herself to the doorsteps of families in need. Sometimes she meets the animals, a sweet family with a cat who needed wet food and litter. And yesterday she met an elderly man and his 12 year old bunny. He wasn't able to leave his house. So Chastity delivered the goods for the bunny and some essential supplies for him. She knows the calls are going to keep coming in and that they're going to need more help. So there are three ways to donate. You can buy from their Amazon wish list, a GoFundMe account for local purchases, or you can call in an order to tractor supply in Sardinia. Just let them know Chastity will be picking them up. Allie Kramer, WCPO 9 News. And you can read more acts of kindness during the coronavirus outbreak. Find it on WCPO.com or just download our WCPO News app.